There we go. Here's one. He's whipping around. I, I see him there. there. I see him there. I'm about to pull over here. Oh, still on it. Mm -hmm. The Muskie Hunter, brought to you by Yeti Coolers, Bass Pro Shops, Ontario, Canada, Shimano, G. Loomis, Power Pro, Mercury Outboards, Ranger Boats, Joe Booker Outdoors, Muskie Mayhem Tackle, Motor Guide, Muskie Innovations, Phantom Lures, and Muskie Hunter Magazine. We're at Harris Hill Resort on the south end of the Lake of the Woods. And this section of Lake of the Woods is commonly overlooked, but it's got numbers of fish and trophies as well. It's early September, the leaves are just starting to turn. It's early fall, there's not a lot of people out here. I'm with my good friends, John Mish and Scott Culpin. John, we've fished Lake of the Woods together a lot of times. What do you think about this new adventure? Yeah, September on Lake of the Woods, we gotta get after it. I think we're gonna get into some fish here. Absolutely. Scott, what do you think about baits? Bucktails, topwater, both? What do you think? Definitely bucktails for me. Harris Hill Resort is located on the south end of Lake of the Woods in Northwest Ontario, Canada. It's located approximately 20 miles north of Baudet, Minnesota. Harris Hill Resort is located in a great location. It's got its own boat ramp, phenomenal cabins, great amenities, they can serve you food, everything you need. You launch your boat and within 15 minutes you're in some prime musky fishing locations. You got a chance with three guys. What I generally do is try to fish really fast, kind of a little bit more than I'm comfortable with, meaning a little faster. But we got all three of us are throwing bucktails and we're fishing a lot of different stuff. You know, we're fishing bays, we're fishing points, we're looking for rocks, fishing different stuff, trying to establish the pattern. But don't fish slow out of the gate. You fish something new like this, cover ground, move fast with the trolling motor, then all of a sudden when you see a fish or catch a fish, then you dial in the pattern. Fish. Yeah. All right. Coming. Coming, Jack. Got him. Blue silver. Yeah, we got some sand. Some of that frag weeds out in front. Something in his belly there, looks like. Yeah, chunk. Beautiful. Excellent. And away she goes. Good deal. Right, let's get another. Yes. You know, when you're you know fishing bucktails, ultimately the speed for which you bring a bucktail in is going to be dictated by the fish. I mean, if you have fish that are aggressive and snapping, you know, you're going to be going a little faster, but you know, historically when you're fishing stained water like we're fishing today, you want to be bringing the bait in uh, not super fast, not super slow, kind of down enough in the water column, maybe that, you know, eight to ten inches where you feel comfortable where you can still see the blades. The important thing is to still be able to see the blades on the way in, to be able to, you know, see what's behind the bait. Um, again, if the fish are, if fish are moving fast, you can burn it, but otherwise it's just, you know, simply bringing it in, being able to see the flash of the blades, bring it in nice and slow, and then go into a nice good figure eight. There's one. Oh, yeah, there it is.
No matter where you fish Lake of the Woods, your game plan should always be during the day, you try to catch as many as you can, locate as many as you can, and in the evening, go back on those fish you spotted. Here we go. Going behind yep. it. Yeah, Here we yeah, go. Yeah, 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 yeah. Make sure you go underwater on the figure eight. There he is. <laughs> oh, oh goodness. Oh. <laughs> you ready, John? Oh yeah. Get up. There she comes. Nice. <laughs> Unbelievable figure eight top water. <laughs> Insane. That was incredible. I can't even believe it. Just crushed it. Going around on the eight, paused it, bam. <laughs> Last stop. Atta boy. Incredible. That's good fishing. Nice job, Scott. Wow. Oh. Ready? Yeah. Top water bite, the best. Awesome, awesome. Takes a lot of patience to do that. Say good night. Perfect. A lot of times you're in a situation where you catch a bunch of fish on a bucktail and what will happen is the shaft of the bucktail will get bent, which is a good thing when you catch a bunch of muskies, that'll happen, but one of the byproducts of that is sometimes the front hook, because the bait's not running true, will start getting hung up in the skirt. And so you can try to rebend out the shaft and make sure it's straight, but one thing I do when that front hook is getting tangled in the bucktail skirt is simply take your scissors and just keep trimming away some of the skirt that's close to that front hook a little bit. And you'll see it get hung up, and after a while, you just keep trim a little bit that's near there every couple times when that happens, and then all of a sudden you'll notice that you'll still have plenty of flare with the bucktail hair, but that front hook will be free to move, because that's real important. You don't want that front hook to get bound up into that flashaboo, so when a muskie strikes it, they can pull that hook from the body, and you can get them every time. It's quiet on the river this morning. Ain't nobody on the water but me. And the sun's coming on, but it won't be long. But there's a little more weight coming in this creek. From bass and walleye to crappie in the great outdoors, you deserve more than old school aluminum. Reward yourself with the quality, performance, and extra room in a Ranger aluminum design. Packed with features, these rigs carry an ultra smooth dry ride and stable platforms. Experience a Ranger aluminum boat today. It's engineered to excel and priced to be yours. Where's the dream destination of all muskie anglers? Ontario, and for good reason. It's loaded with giant muskies. Ontario has hundreds of waters with thousands of spots loaded with trophy muskies waiting for you. Don't fight the crowds. Explore the waters of Ontario. Fish alone and get back in touch with nature. Ontario, it's the place where muskie dreams come true. To find out more about my favorite Ontario muskie waters, check out GoFishInOntario.com. XI5 from Motor Guide. A wireless trolling motor engineered for anglers by anglers. Delivering key performance attributes with power, 
toughness, stealthy, quiet operation. And for you control freaks, our optional pinpoint GPS navigation system lets you position your boat precisely where the fish are, instantaneously, accurately, built to earn you bragging rights. Meet the all new XI-5, only from Motor Guide. Are you searching for that secret lake or magic lure? There's no one secret in muskie fishing. Knowledge is power. You want to catch more muskies? Get Musky Hunter. Get Musky Hunter. Get Musky Hunter. Subscribe now and get cutting edge information from the top muskie professionals. Learn to locate muskies in any water using the hottest musky lures. Get the latest on new musky gear and exclusive musky wear. Get six big issues for only $23.95. Call 1-800-23-MUSKY or go to muskiehunter.com. This episode of The Muskie Hunter is brought to you by Ontario, Canada. Rachel Kowalczyk of Lublin, Wisconsin released a 45-incher on the Flambeau River in Wisconsin. Normal, 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 normal. Speed it up a little bit. Oh, keep with it, stick with it. There he is. Got him. Yeah. There he is. Yes. Nice, I'll hook out. Had a way oh, to sweet. stick. Sweet. Had a way to that stick. That was cool, it. yeah. Kept going around. Nice. A nice color change. Went to that. Copper over red, nice fish. Good job. Awesome, awesome, awesome fish, man. Look at that. Get her back in the water? Sure. There she goes. One simple pattern to fish in this section of the lake are the sand beaches. If you look behind me, you get a great big sand beach. And a lot of those sand beaches are going to have weeds in front of them. And so obviously they're going to hold muskies. Now one of the keys about fishing these sand beaches are try to fish them where the wind's not blowing in. So if the wind switch, fish the ones that are calm or maybe just have a little bit of wind blowing in, not a lot. That tends to make it better. Here we go. Figure eight, figure eight. Okay, nice round one. one, round that time. Go, go. There we go, good one. Get him, John. Oh, don't, horse, don't horse him, don't horse him, don't no, horse him. No, no, no. Don't horse him. Yes! Yes! Oh, that's a good fish. Incredible. Yeah! <laughs> Unbelievable. Yes. Nice. nice job, Scott. Beautiful. Oh, look at that one. Wow. That is a big one, man. Came behind that bait, good figure eight. You just Stuck with it and crushed it, man. All right, let's get her back in the water. Awesome, awesome. Not a giant tarpon for you, <laughs> but you gotta love it, huh? That's a beautiful fish. Thank you, girl. Whew. Incredible. In early fall, the muskies like to be shallow. You'll get a movement of fish into the shallow cover. 
Now what happens is a lot of these sandy beaches have weeds and those beaches will die. And that makes fishing actually better because you get patches of bulrushes that are still near those weeds. And when the weeds are gone, those muskies are gonna suck up near those bulrushes. They'll be really, really shallow, shallower than you think you might wanna be, but that's where the muskies are located. He's there, he's there, he's there, he's there. Got him, barely hooked. Nice. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I wasn't screwing around with that net job. <laughs> wasn't happening. That fish just came in, went around, and I was saying he just did one of those. Barely hooked, but we got him. <laughs> Thank you, John. You're welcome. Good job. It took there. me a little bit today. I, did, I really kind of had to hang it almost slow. You know, I came in, I had to really slow it down to get him to. Well, I figured when I saw it come around that second time, I just put my rod down and went back here to the net. Figured there's a good chance it's going to go. He just came in fast but deep, you know, and I really had to ah, hang it on the turn. Yeah, she kind of, you know, it kind of disappeared on the first turn, but then on that second turn, it reappeared. Yeah, kind of. You just never know. You got to. Keep with them. Look at this. Oh yeah, that's a beauty. Yeah, nice. Wow, that is a beautiful lunge, man. Thanks, girl. That was awesome. <laughs> she said, "I want no part of you." Of course, it only took like three seconds to net her. <laughs> If you fish big water and you have to go a long way, being a quarter mile off one direction or another can really add some time to your trip. So one trick you can do with your Lowrance Electronics is kind of use the go-to feature or the navigation feature to get directly to the point you want to go. And I'll show you how that works. All you have to do is just scroll along your screen to the exact spot you want to get to, tap a point on the cursor, hit go to cursor, and there you go. Now you have a direct line in a shaded area you can follow that will take you directly to your destination. Believe me, using that little trick will save you a lot of time on the water and it'll be very easy to get to your destination. Bass Pro Shops, it's more than a store. It's great service from folks who know what they're talking about. A place with a great selection of brands you love. And so many clothing options to choose from. It's a low price guarantee. And free events that are fun for the whole family. If you've never been to Bass Pro Shops, you don't know what you're missing. The 500 series Booker Tail, here it is. This is one of my top producing baits in all conditions. Stained water, clear water, cloudy, I don't care what it is. The 500 series Booker Tail gets the job done. Where's the dream destination of all muskie anglers? Ontario. And for good reason. It's loaded with giant muskies. 
Ontario has hundreds of waters with thousands of spots loaded with trophy muskies waiting for you. Don't fight the crowds. Explore the waters of Ontario. Fish alone and get back in touch with nature. Ontario, it's the place where muskie dreams come true. To find out more about my favorite Ontario musky waters, check out GoFishInOntario.com. It's time for the Yeti Tough Moment. Fishing Lake of the Woods is always exciting because there are so many potential places for muskies to hide. When Jim, John, and Scott figured out the pattern, it seemed like there were muskies everywhere. To catch them, it was simply a matter of fishing similar spots, casting a cowgirl, and executing a solid figure eight. Now that's Yeti Tough. These fish are acting like they haven't seen a lot of baits. When they come in, they follow the figure eight, miss the bait, still chase it down and eat it again. That's usually a sign that they haven't seen a lot of musky baits, which is the place you want to fish. <laughs> fish. Yeah. Yeah, beautiful. <sighs> Just pays to return to the same spot you see fish during the day. It's amazing. You got him? Yeah, he doesn't little, like you. These little guys. Feisty. Yep. Got him now. Nice. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Fight another day. Get some more. One more, more. When you're fishing the south shore of Lake of the Woods, the southern area, one of the keys are spots with a lot of variety, and this is a classic spot. You got a big point behind me with boulders, and in the back of it, there's a sandy beach with weeds, and down the shoreline here, a lot of broken boulders. And you can even see the bulrushes out here with a little bit of tobacco cabbage in front of them. You wanna look for these type of variety spots, fish them, when you catch fish from a particular area, try to replicate it and catch more. There we go, there we go, there we go, there we go. He turned on it. He wants it. Got him. Shaker. Yes. <laughs> nice. Bait out. <laughs> Great figure eight. Nice. <laughs> Good nice deal. fish. Fish was hot. Woo! Got him. Fish was, yeah, got him. Fish was hot. Now in that situation, <clears throat> there's something to know. So we pull up this spot and Jim, John has to give me the subliminal. You know, Jim, it's a good spot to throw a top water. Take that bucktail off and throw. He just throws that cowgirl in there. Here she comes. Ah, nice. Winner. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't happen often. Beautiful. That was just an awesome, awesome figure eight trick. Just flying around like a maniac. That is what Lake of the Woods, a nice fish. Good oh fish. yeah, beautiful. Wow, look at that one. Awesome, awesome. I'll slip the net out of your way. Fat. Yeah. September, gain a little, little pounds there. All right, bye-bye, bye-bye. Yeah, that's fun. There's a lot of big islands on the southern end of the Lake of the Woods, and a lot of them have bays in them, and you want to try and fish the different bays. Uh, this one here doesn't have sand in the back. It's got like bulrushes or rushes in the back, and there's weeds there, and there's a creek coming in, so you've got current. So you, what you want to do is you want to experiment and try fishing different types of bays, and again, try to figure out what type of areas are the muskies holding.
Oh, he's off. He's off. <laughs> I had a weed on the bucktail. I had to get it off, and he stuck with it. Look, he still, even though there was a weed on it, still bit it. I went back on him, just got off. It's okay. It's a muskie. Took off. Mm -hmm. He bumped it from behind. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Dunk. Here he comes. He's still on it. He's still on it. Easy. Missed it. Missed it. Missed it. Fish missed it completely. Got it that time. Got it that time. <laughs> Giant! There that, you go. That fish was angry. So what happened? Just a little cast out and <laughs> swirls and misses it about 25 feet from the boat. I get it here, all of a sudden it shows up, misses figure eight twice. I figure I lost it. I just kept one more time around and boom. I never had even that chance to react. Awesome, awesome. <laughs> I went for the net the first time. It, I got lying around my neck. <laughs> you got me too. <laughs> I'll take the fish first. Though. All right. Awesome, awesome fish, man. Yeah, good fish. Look at that. Good fish. Wow, that goes forever, man. That thing is awesome. Awesome, awesome job. Let's get her back in. <laughs> what a job. Ooh, man, incredible good fish, good man, fish. crazy, nice. crazy strike. That was awesome, absolutely awesome. The southern end of Lake of the Woods is often overlooked by musky fishermen, but as you can see, it's got giants. And Harris Hill, that's definitely the place to stay. Join us next week from the Big Fish Adventure on The Musky Hunter. Yeah. That's a beauty. Nice. The Musky Hunter has been brought to you by these fine sponsors. You're going to be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Got him there, John? No. He just doesn't like you. Like, leave me alone. That's why you throw topwater lures. <laughs> that was incredible. <laughs> Tailing in behind it, comes into the eight. I thought he, sw 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 you know, kicked out on me. Did you see it swirl yeah. out? Incredible. What he said. <laughs>